Hello all, welcome back to another Windows Defender Bypass video. In this video, we will be demonstrating how a publicly available tool, the Scarecrow, can be used to bypass a fully updated Windows 10 machine running Windows Defender with all of its features turned on. We will be showcasing the usage of the tool and also demonstrate a functional reverse shell and even a metaprinter reverse shell using the Scarecrow tool. So this is the Scarecrow official GitHub page. It is by the amazing people at Optif. So be sure to check them out. They have provided detailed explanation and walkthrough of the techniques deployed by the Scarecrow tool with examples here. If you are interested in understanding the techniques used by the Scarecrow tool underneath the hood, be sure to give the references a read. So basically, Scarecrow is a payload creation framework. It will be able to take in a shell code and generate an executable such as EXE and DLL for you. There are many available options on using Scarecrow to further customize your payloads. Scarecrow is built on Golang, so you will need to install Go on your Kali machine in order to compile it. Alright, let's get started on the usage of the tool. Let's hop over to our Kali machine. As shown over here, we have already git cloned the repository and compiled the Scarecrow binary. The installation is fairly easy, you just have to follow the instructions provided on the GitHub page and make sure that you have Golang installed on your Kali machine. Looking at the available options of Scarecrow, it is definitely overwhelming with so many configurations available to customize our payload. We can simply run the Scarecrow command to see what are the required arguments to supply and we will leave the other options as default without supplying the non-required ones. Okay, first of all, obviously, we will need to supply the shellcode. Let's generate a TCP reverse shellcode with MSF Venom. Alright, nice. We now have a shellcode file. Let's execute Scarecrow and specify the reverse shellcode that we have just generated. Now, we need to supply a domain. Let's do that. Let's go with whatever. Example.com should be fine. Nice, Scarecrow is able to proceed now. By default, it will encrypt our shellcode, patch the ETW, patch MC, and all of the other good stuff. We will need to supply the shellcode file and an example domain name for it to work. Okay, it appears that Scarecrow has generated the executable file named OneNote.exe, which should contain our TCP reverse shellcode in it. Let's open up another console and set up a listener on TCP port 8443 which was what we have configured in our MSF Venom. Let's hop over to our Windows 10 machine to execute the payload generated by Scarecrow. Let's transfer the file over to our Windows machine with secure copy SCP. Nice, it worked. No detections so far. The file is able to touch the disk successfully on our Windows 10 machine. If we check out the properties of the file, we can see that it is indeed signed by example.com, which was what we specified earlier on. Now, let's execute the binary. It is looking good so far, no alerts and no detections. We are able to get a functional reverse shell. This is awesome. We can execute commands over the TCP reverse shell and this shows that it is indeed functional. That's pretty cool. Oh no, it seems that it took a while for Windows Defender to catch up, but it is able to detect the one node binary as malicious now. There are quite a few detections and alerts flying by now from Windows Defender. This is definitely not looking good. Alright, the file has been removed by Windows Defender now. If we check out our reverse shell, it has been terminated as well. This is not good. The EXE payload generated by Scarecrow doesn't seem to be able to bypass Windows Defender with all of its features turned on. Let's give Scarecrow another try. Let's try out another format such as the DLL instead of EXE. We should be able to generate a DLL payload by specifying it with a dash loader command and DLL value. Okay, this looks good. It appears that it is generating a DLL payload name SEC host for us now, sec host. Alright, let's transfer the DLL payload file over to our Windows machine. Let's use SCP again to do so. Let's name it helloworld.dll instead. Awesome, there are no detections and no alerts upon touching the disk of the Windows 10 machine. 
Now, let's try to execute the DLL file. The DLL should contain the exporter function's name, DLL register server, as well as DLL get class object. We can execute the DLL file using run DLL and specifying the function names. Nice! We were able to get a functional TCP reverse shell again with the DLL payload type. This time round, let's hope Windows Defender will not pick it up anymore. It seems okay so far. Let's trigger a manual scan ourselves by right-clicking the DLL file and scanning it with Windows Defender. Awesome! It says that zero threats are found. We were able to successfully bypass Windows Defender with all of its features turned on by using DLL instead with the Scarecrow tool. Now let's try and take it a step further and use Scarecrow to generate a DLL with a Metabriter reverse shell instead. We will need to generate a new shell code that will execute a Metabriter reverse shell. Now let's remove the DLL file on our Windows machine first. We will need to execute MSF console and set up a listener that will receive our incoming Metabriter reverse shell. We can do so using the exploit multi handler. Okay, this looks good. Let's run it. We will need to rerun the scarecrow command so that it will generate a new DLL payload file with a Metabriter reverse shell shellcode in it. It is generating a new DLL named CFGMGR32 now. Awesome! Now let's hop over to our Windows machine and transfer the new DLL file over. Let's keep the name as hello world.dll. Let's execute the DLL file which should contain our Metabriter reverse shell. Nice! We were able to get a Metabriter reverse shell. As shown in the screen, this is fully functional. Let's try to scan it again. Awesome! There are zero threats found. We were able to successfully bypass Windows Defender with all of its features turned on obtaining a Metabriter reverse shell. Scarecrow supports several options that can be used to further customize your payloads. It is highly recommended to go through the available options and explore with it. As demonstrated, Scarecrow was able to successfully bypass Windows Defender with its DLL payload type and it is pretty amazing for a publicly available tool. There was no customization needed at all and it just works out of the box. Alright all, I will be concluding the video here. Be sure to check out the Scarecrow GitHub page. All credits belong to the author of the tool and I hope you all have enjoyed the demonstration and content of this video. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!